I started doing work in education late 1990s. Started working in Shaker Heights, Ohio. It was a school district there because I grew up in Cleveland. And a colleague of mine found out I was in education work and said, we're dealing with the achievement gap issue here. You should come and get involved. And they had the idea that we should figure out what's happening in the classrooms with these kids. What are they experiencing? Can we learn something about achievement gaps from that? And so we created the first version of the tripod surveys with the uh, educators in Shaker Heights, Ohio. TRIPOD stands for Content, Pedagogy, and Relationships. The idea is that teachers need to have content knowledge of what they're trying to teach, they need to have pedagogic skills to deliver it to kids, and they need to have relationship skills in order to be able to relate to the kids that they're trying to teach, get that done. So we called it TRIPOD. So we did that in Shaker Heights. Um, it spread into the Minority Student Achievement Network, and then we set up a business basically to service school systems around the country. It became called TRIPOD Education Partners. Well, Tripod Education Partners merged with Ed Elements about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, because uh, Ed Elements provides boots on the ground consulting to school systems around the country. Tripod did not do a lot of that, but we had all the survey research uh, resources, and so we put those together. And Xanadu is the third firm now that uh, has now merged into this mixture. And so now we have the combination of the research tools and the survey tools, but also the boots on the ground support for school districts. Our student surveys that we'll be talking about here, this Tripod 7C surveys were the student voice piece of the MET project. The MET project stands for Measures of Effective Teaching. It was a, a big Gates Foundation project that ran from about 2008 to 2013. It was the biggest teacher quality research project the world's ever seen. They spent between 50 million and 100 million dollars on it. Now in Tripod we have seven C's. The C's are care, confer, captivate, clarify, consolidate, challenge, and classroom management. So there's personal support, curricular support, and academic support. It's one way to break out what the C's are. So personal support, cultivating teacher-student relationships and a classroom climate where students feel valued and welcomed. The care and confer, trying to make kids feel, hey, I belong here, I'm welcome here, people like me, want me here. And so care, showing concern for students' emotional and academic well-being, building relationships, addressing learning needs. And then confer, encourage and value students' ideas and views, respect perspectives, remote discussion, invite input. The curricular support, captivate, clarify, and consolidate. To captivate is delivering the curriculum in a way that's designed to captivate, to, to interest students. Uh, clarify is about presenting things in ways that are clear or become clear. And then consolidate is kind of reminding kids what they learned, pulling it all together, making it coherent, reviewing. Okay, here's what we talked about last time, here's what we're going to talk about today, here's how it's related to what we're going to talk about next time, and it all adds up to this picture. And then academic press, challenge in classroom management, challenge, challenge for rigorous thinking, challenge for quality work, challenge for persistence, and then classroom management is an orderly on-task classroom where people are respectful of one another, but they also stay busy and don't waste time. And we have measures for kindergarten through K. For we have an early elementary survey that covers K-1-2. We have an a upper elementary survey that covers grades 3, 4, 5. And we have a secondary school survey that covers grades 6 through 12. I included a bunch of little statements from teachers where we had teachers answer the question, uh, what did you learn from the student feedback? How did you respond to it? And what difference do you think it made? I was confirmed in some of my assessment of myself, was surprised by the other parts. I knew I needed to work on consolidating, for example, but was surprised that I was weak on clarifying. I felt sure that that was an area where I was strong. I always prided myself in explaining things in a lot of different ways to kids. I knew I would be high on challenge, but thought I would be much lower on care than I was. The kids see me as softer than I see myself. So it's a very thoughtful response. How'd you respond? I definitely went to work on consolidating learning at the end of classes. I gave more exit questions, summarizes, tickets to leave. I saw how clarifying it is for me. I can measure better whether the learning objective was reached or not. The kids feel better. Oh, I actually did learn something today. I laid off judging myself so much for being too hard on the kids. Maybe I'm not so cold after all. 
clarity is the hardest. I think I'm more lost there than I like to admit. What difference it made, maybe consider students more to look at myself more objectively as if I were one of the kids. What is it like to be in my classroom? How do I help students learn or not? It also gave me very specific things to work on in my practice. Okay, and so we have people responding very constructively for most of the time. This person here deflected. Feedback was somewhat confusing as the students interpreted questions differently on the rating scale. The scale did not accurately assess all the questions. How did you respond to feedback? I continue to teach as I always have. What difference did it make? Not much. The survey seems to imply that all the responsibility for student success is on the teacher. Okay. This teacher, I, when I went and did the debrief with this teacher, this was a high school. We had, the whole, we had all the teachers in the auditorium. I debriefed the results with them, and I read what stuff I just read to you. Uh, and this person fessed up. This person raised his hand and stood up and said, that was me. And he said, I know now I was wrong because he saw how much sense the other teachers were taking and how serious the other teachers were taking it and how they had changed constructively. And he basically admitted it. He blew it off and he's gonna go back and look at his results more now. <laughs> and that was, that was a nice moment uh, when that happened.